Within the world today, we need to make friendships, and those friendships help us to stay healthy of heart and soul. When we make those friendships, we have obligations to them. We have responsibilities. We have accountabilities, and well, we have God looking down upon us. Friendship is always a good foundation for any business partnership. It's when you say, wow, that person really moves me, and I like what they say, and I'm going to work on how I can play in that situation. But the best way to play in is to say, hey, I like what you're doing, and I'd like to help you get out of your situation. And that's the easiest way to play in. At the same time, there are people who are struggling, people who are suffering, whose careers are about to tank, and they don't know what to do to move on. Your best thing to do is to talk to someone, sometimes a stranger, often a consultant, definitely a career coach, who really knows the world, who really gets the commodities of life. The commodities of life are cash and food. You see, that's the commodity that America offers the world. We feed the world, motherfucker. But your attitude is that you can play with my food. You can taint my goods that I'm buying. And you can't under the law. But your attitude is the problem. Your poor attitude is what harms you. And when you adjust yourself and start changing your hair color to blue and green and red and purple, you're saying, I want to do something different instead. And you can do that. But it's not going to produce the career you need to never have to stop working. It's not going to produce the relationships you want to move yourself forward. It's not going to produce the income or the earnings unless you become a superstar like Rodman who knows that he can paint his hair colors and he's fine because he's already making millions. You see, when you're at the bottom, you have to be willing to do the standard steps that are presently accepted, presently expected in society to move yourself into something else of notoriety. But the problem we have in retail today are the bitches and bastards of Satan that want to sabotage their consumers and their customers out of their lives and livelihoods.